welcome back. This week's episode of YouTube Art School is going to be a little different to celebrate the new year. So since the learn to draw in 30 day challenge has been so successful, figured I'd kick things up a notch and give you a full one year art study schedule that I've carefully put together to go from zero to hero in 12 months. If you stick to it, I guarantee the results will blow your mind. Come on, quickly, class is starting. All right, classes in session, pay attention. In the next couple of minutes, we'll go over the carefully crafted study plan that I've prepared for you month by month to explain everything properly. So a question that a lot of you ask me often is what exactly to focus on to learn how to draw. What comes first and then what's after that? Well, no need to worry anymore. I've done the hard work for you and it's kind of my specialty. Follow this schedule that we're about to go over and the results will come. Now, I'll mention what to study, of course, but it's still a fairly short YouTube video, so we're not really going to go into the how part too much. For that, instead, I'll refer you to some classes from my YouTube channel. But if you need more than that, you might want to look into my full art program linked in the video description, but more on that later. For now, let's dive into the study plan, starting with the first month of study. And obviously, if you watch this a little bit later in a year, no worries. Just make sure that you start from the beginning because the structure here is very important. So we start in January, of course. At this point, I'm guessing that you're either starting to learn art from scratch or you've practiced a little bit, you've dabbled, but you, uh, you've been hitting some walls and progress has been slow. And that's why you're here. So we're gonna start off simple. In the first month, there are three things that we'll focus on. Gesture drawing, perspective, and copying. Copying? What? Let's go over these. So starting off with gesture drawing, the whole idea in the first month is to get you to observe better with an artist's eye. So it might seem like a brutal thing to start with, but gesture drawing is a fantastic way to focus on observation. I do have a class where I talk about gesture drawing in uh, more depth, so you should definitely check that out. And then I'll put all the links to the classes that I mentioned during the video down in the description. So for this, aim to draw glorified stick figures, nothing fancy, and lines only, no shading. So for the first month, something like 30 plus poses should be a good start, and then find references in mostly in neutral poses, standing, nothing too complicated. And then focusing on two to five minute sessions per pose, that should work great. Next, you'll want to focus on the basics of perspective. Things that are worth looking into at this stage would be stuff like the horizon line, vanishing lines, vanishing points, and just how to draw simple volumes, like cylinders, boxes, and spheres. And then throughout the month, we'll also do a bunch of studies of art that you like, essentially copying the art from uh, artists that you like. And then here I'm talking about the line art only, no colors, no shading, nothing like that. And then do that as best as you can without tracing. And that's the first month. Do as much as you can, mixing up the topics if you want. You don't have to do this in order. You're starting to build a foundation here, a foundation that will help you complete the following month. So let's move on to February. And I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit here uh, to get through this a little faster. So we'll still be doing gesture drawing. This time, 80 plus poses at two minutes each, but still using basic references and simple poses. Also, you'll learn how to draw the head construction and how to draw the face. And I have a class for that. That's not all though. We'll also learn the skills needed to draw a basic scene of your choice using one point perspective. And then to complete the month, we'll also be doing some face studies using art from artists that you like. Just the line art, again, keeping it simple. And we're now in March and we're still keeping up with gesture drawing. And at this point, you should definitely notice a significant improvement We'll do longer poses this time. So 30 plus poses in total for about five minutes each. And we're also going to start tackling anatomy, learning how to draw a simple mannequin just as a, an introduction. Do check out my class on the topic. Now the challenge this month will be to learn how to draw another scene of your choice, but using two point perspective this time. And then last on the list for March will be to do a bunch of portrait studies from photo reference, trying your best to copy what you see, including colors and shading. Now, real quick, if you're not sure how to study for any of this, you should be able to find, you know, plenty of tutorials here on YouTube with a little bit of work. There's a ton of them on my own channel, like I've been referencing. But if you want even more structure along with 
in-depth classes that cover all the topics of this schedule and much more. I would definitely recommend that you check out Art School for Digital Artists with the link in the video description. It's my complete art education program meant as a, an alternative to college or universities at a fraction of the cost. And a lot of this schedule is kind of based on it. Now, there's still a little bit of time to take advantage of the massive holiday sale that I have going on until the end of the month on the 31st. But I've gotten so many requests for an extension that I'll be extending the sale into next month as well, albeit slightly reduced to be fair to all of those who joined the program during the holiday sale. We also just passed 14,000 students, so that's worth celebrating. There is no better time to join our fast growing community and to take your art to the next level. It's a new year. Anything is possible. You can do this. All right, back to the schedule. It's April now. The challenge for April will be to sculpt a face. You should have learned quite a bit already, so this shouldn't be as hard as it might sound. And by sculpt, I mean, you know, using real clay or something similar. It's not quite drawing, but it's directly related and it's a fantastic exercise. Now, moving on to more anatomy. This time we'll learn the basic bones and muscle groups of the upper body. We'll also keep up our gesture drawing exercises too, but this time focusing more on details and less on the gesture, doing at least 10 poses in 10 minute sessions. And then last on the list will be to learn the basic of color theory. Things such as the psychology of colors, what are warm and cool colors, the different types of chromatic circles, aka learning about the colors of light and the colors of pigments. Now moving on to May. Gesture drawing is still on the menu, but this time we'll do two minute poses and at least 60 of them or more. Oh snap. Might also be a good idea to try some more dynamic poses for this month. And then we're also continuing to learn about anatomy, but this time we'll focus on the basic bones and the muscle groups of the lower body. There are three more things to tackle this month. Learning how to draw feet. I have a class for that. Learning more about color theory, specifically about color harmonies. I also have a class for that. And finally, we're going to be doing a couple of drawings or painting studies of environments from artists that you like. All right, it's almost summer now. In June, we'll place a heavier focus on creativity since we'll be tackling character design basics. I have a class for that, of course. We'll also learn how to draw animals, more specifically, how to draw quadruped mammals like dogs, cats, lions, etc. And then now, instead of the gesture drawing, a practice like we've been doing in the past couple months. We'll mix things up a bit and try figure drawing. Basically just a more elaborate study of clothed people from reference. And there are some awesome photo packs that you can grab on QBrush, for example, to help with this. The target should be to draw about five or more figures, taking anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes on each or more if needed. And then the challenge of the month will be to draw a scene of your choice using three point perspective. And of course, learning the theory to be able to achieve that. And then since we've been learning about colors in the last couple of months, try your hand at coloring some of the drawings that you feel the most proud of this month. Now, in July already, you should really feel like you've significantly leveled up at this point. If you've been consistently practicing, you should definitely have a nice foundation by now. So we're going back to gesture drawing by doing 40 plus quick two minute poses, and we'll also learn how to shade properly. Check out my class on the topic. On top of that, we'll be doing a number of character design studies using designs from artists that you like as reference. And the challenge this month will be to draw or paint a self portrait using a mirror, not a photo with color and shading. Now, it wouldn't be abnormal to spend a couple hours on this. All right, it's August now. Summer is ending, but your skills are growing. We're going to be drawing creatures this month. Creatures that you're going to make up based on two or more animals. Hybrids, basically. We're also learning the basics of environment design because we'll be painting or drawing a simple environment. Check out, by the way, one of my classes that might help with that. I'll link it down in the description, just like all the others. And the last thing for August, we'll be practicing our character design creativity by creating variants of existing popular outfits from your favorite shows, movies, games, whatever. Draw a couple of them. Now, moving on to September, let's kick things off with some figure drawing of characters in various costumes, whatever interests you, working on five plus poses using colors and shading. These will be longer studies, like 20 minutes plus each, probably. We'll also be learning about composition theory this month, things like the rule of thirds, essentially how to lay out 
visual components in an aesthetic way. In addition, we'll focus on a more advanced anatomy by doing some studies of muscles for the entire body. And then finally, we'll learn to paint some cloth or folds and uh, we'll put that theory into practice by doing some fold master studies. Ancient sculptures are really good material for that. All right, now it's October already. Woo! The year is going by real fast. The whole of October will be reserved for an art challenge of your choice. There are always thousands of different art challenges going on at that time of the year. So just pick one that interests you and uh, do your best. We're taking a little break from learning this month. It's all about applying the skills that you've learned so far. Have fun with it. Now jumping to November starting to get a little chilly. Leaves are falling. Here's what we'll be focusing on this month. The last month of study this year, if you can believe it. We're back on the gesture drawing grind. So we'll do 20 plus poses of two to 10 minutes each. Just mix it up, have some fun with it. Next, we'll learn to draw the hand. Check my class on the topic. We'll also learn how to draw facial expressions. And yes, I also have a class for that. And finally, the challenge this month will be to draw a short comic of at least three panels, making sure that you include two or more characters and simple environments in each of the panels. And of course, this brings us to December. <sighs> the year's almost over. It's winter again, and uh, it's time to really put into practice everything that we've learned so far this year. We'll be working on a character project, designing at least one original character of your own and drawing it or painting it in front of a simple environment from imagination, all in full colors with shading. <gasps> and you can focus more on the character or the environment, you know, depending on what you prefer. And don't hesitate still to use references as part of the process, but try to make it as original as possible. This is your final project. Make it a good one. If you do all of this, and it's not easy to stick to it if you do, but if you do, Oh boy, I guarantee you, you won't believe your progress in a year. That's gonna wrap it up for this week's class. If you're planning on following this professionally crafted study schedule, I think it'd be awesome to have a place where everybody can follow everyone's progress as well. So I've created a hashtag, learn to draw in one year for you to tag all your creations and studies with. It's a nice way to get a little motivation boost as well, being able to see how others are progressing through the year and kind of doing it as a community. Now, with all of that said, if you already have the art school program, I'll soon be uploading a very detailed week by week study schedule to pair along with the program. It's gonna come with a bunch of new exercises and it'll be a breakdown week by week. And as an existing student, of course, you get all of that for free. So just keep an eye out for the update and you'll be able to go and download it right away. It should be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So I hope you all make the best of 2023. Let's all level up together. I have a lot more planned for you in 2023 on the channel. You should definitely stick around. Happy New Year.